five seconds. Sniper! No shallow grave in time, though. Couldn't get close enough. Yeah, Blood Seeker will fall. And now Daz is also in a lot of trouble. Another Jack in time. He's going down. He's going to make it take as long as possible. He's dead. Nice to turn back. Kill Warriors Gaming Unity. So, looking forward to this one. Covering the bottom lane, though. Had him. He's initiated on. Well, they're going to turn this off. At least try to. The rough use, but there's a time lapse. And now we find it. Bloodseeker actually trying to survive for another first strike though, but here comes Dazzle. Yellow Grave's gonna be applied all of a sudden. Now Sandy's like, ah oh, crap, I gotta run here. Timber saw me walking to get killed the top lane on Aklan. This is happening. He gets past in the Bloodseeker on Sand King though. Goes up a little bit, and now we see Gabby trying to finish it off and take advantage of the overall fight. Worm goes out. Oh, not enough damage though initially. Bloodseeker could use of the magic stick right there. He kills the bug, but the final auto attack comes out. with that new death letter fish, he is going to eventually kill him. He's able to push down right here to come out as well. Just make sure to make sure to blow the ult with the rock draw. In comes the comp from win. Circle ball going off. The Colin Clay not going to have it in time, though. He gets cut down by the Timbersaw before he can do enough. And Timbersaw will live despite that rupture. Now they're going to run down the team of over the refractor. Dyer's, Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It feels like the last game of one team getting into the landing phase, and you know, individually pretty skilled, but yeah, Crush Gamer is playing very good at the defense. Oh, the Rupture, one's out the blood right, he has to be reacting to the fight. It comes the epicenter of Blood right there, so Blood Seeker comes by the way. Big shot, the Grave going out, there's a result of Sniper, can Blood Seeker lift with this? Probably not. They end up falling, Magnetize is out though. When it's here, with the Rupture's on the call, again, by the kill. This one onto the Sand King, but it's gonna come at a cost, making it a two for two. In the big picture, oh, maybe a two for three, actually. Down goes. Yoner here, meanwhile, they might have the catches. What a Rubik, but I want top right here from the entire side. In comes the top from win. Just a solid deck in the leader. The Lincoln's here popped right there, but now Axie's falling quickly. He can be popped for TAO in the Ages of Sky Reclaim. Saw, but he needs to get away from Mushu. We should probably be taking it for two for one, make it a three for one. And, and the idea you're getting an ability that, that prevents you from that. Rupture's going off the low, they're not going to work too much right there. He sent down Blood Rider right Mist, and they catch Weaver's process. He's going through. They're going to take off over here. Yes, he will. They're going to stop their sniper. They can't do it. I thought the coin play came out early. Yes, they will. They're going to go through the low. And they miss it. They make it. Watch the sniper kill, he popped back, remember that's gonna be time to keep him falling. Yeah, he goes for 90 seconds now, the catch is going back as well. The Badger Cross coming out of the Rupture on a Rubik on top of the Timber Zone. In comes the follow up, doesn't just TP out, he's gonna fall. GG, well played, and just like that, it will be victorious. Radiant's middle barracks have fallen. Radiant's top tower, Dyer's victory. That's why Solo's dropping here on that Rubik. Lifestyle is also not on the friendliest side either. He's trying to get run down by the Clockwork and it's going to go with a game and need get the gun to Rubik. Got 
Bottom tower is under attack. Is gonna go down and return, so a nice little trade right there. Let the clockwork probably also gonna end up going down. They're just gonna run on top of it. Cox, but that actually, okay, the one TP, but no, he's out. He's gonna tap right there, Matt. KP, but he has flash here, he doesn't get two shit about that being KP. Fight away, the, oh, the pounce of the ledge on success. Clark, now Clark is going to be a Yes, it's going to be enough. Moosh, you're actually now, we got Ninja looking forward to back in. The up people pull him down, Axe, but those spins, he's going to shut down, though. The Cogs will stop their wrath. Meanwhile, Clark, he's still looking around over here. He's sitting on top of the Nick. He wants to go for the now, as it out comes the Shadow Dancer. Now, that's just... Shortly after, however, he needs to pounce up the ledge and run away. The once again looks to barely escape right here. It looks like it is again going to be enough to get away. But no, Max, oh, he's able to actually. <laughs> Pops a shrine, but the last killer 
Please don't full go. Yeah, this is it. GG. Radiant's body barracks have fallen. It's on our way right here. But yeah, even the game one left game is really good. They died. He played all the time. The army died, but really a great fight. Sniper! Dark light! Picking up right here, somebody's gonna die. Who's gonna be first? It's gonna be the Ross that gets run down the Fury Front that up. Let's make a new Ninja Boogie. No shallow break, no, so he's actually gonna end up getting spun down right there. Continues. Another Earth Shot comes out. Actually, they catch Juggernaut. That'd be a big kill for them to have, and they're gonna get it. With the final attack from Sinking. Sniper middle land, the axe initiation, easy kill on him with that blink, and the circle ward trap on top of that. We'll catch the dazzle and transition nice. Oh, Ursa jumps in first onto the roster right there, but now he's gonna be until we get blocked up with the ball off against the with the calling blade. To finish off the Ursa over axe will end up getting turned, but now Sniper on the run. Odie puts him on him to spit on top of that front target on buyback, by the way. From Ursa, a very early buyback here. Yeah, Ursa's so low, the Circle Wars committed actually. Juggernaut's porting it as well, and now Ursa's in trouble. The Cloyd Miller back backing up, slide, but down goes Ursa. The wall is going to be used for Dark Shield, but the Juggernaut with the Omni Slash also spinning a lot of damage out. Ursa staying dead for the time being. They killed Rossa, but not really a big one. The Cloyd Play cuts down Dazzle, looks like, and it gets another. Onto the Sniper, who did pick up the Aegis from the Roshan Kel, but now he's in a horrible spot as Bushi resurrects. Doesn't have any support nearby. He's eventually going to be spun down by the Juggernaut, most likely. He's trying to give the kill to Juggernaut, but... Okay, yeah, let's... Yeah, he's, he's a little careful with that, but they eventually get the kill. And meanwhile... Trying to make a play right here. OD, the perfect time was putting his team in under the center as the club comes out. The nice vacuum wall combo, though, that could be bigger. So trying to capitalize. It's a kill on his lot out there. It's a shallow grave going up, putting the auto attack for the juggernaut. But he's put under, and he's eventually going to die after the back. Meanwhile, same thing. The sniper picked off in the background. And now going for more. Axe just continues to be working out the kill to move. He bumps another on a dazzle. The cloning play not even done. Yasha here. So normally we'd see that maelstrom perhaps, but. Uh, one of the Yasha here, the mental man to I'm sure. There's a call on Ursa, by the way. And Oh, it's not going to be enough to him initially. Big counterplay coming out with the same thing up center. And the wall back is exactly what they were looking for. And Juggernaut will be picked up in his spot. Ross also killed. But OT with that hurricane fight. Snipe out the Ursa again. Now the Slaughter's also going to get caught. So. P for Ursa, however. Oh, nice catch from Slaughter. Here's the, the follow-up. The call. Burl Strike coming out, trying to save his teammate if anything. And Rage just popped. He will continue to run. Meanwhile, the back they do get the pick on Dazzle. And now Ursa Ren is going to continue to pursue and take him out. Oh, the Burl Strike misses. That's big. And he reacts, though. The Slaughter, he's not going to hit Lightning Crush. Instead, he'll fall back. Of course, definitely. There's a lot of damage in the process. The Raging Potato, he's going in, too. But down come the Serpent Wards. And so that should guarantee the Tier 2 Tower goal. The Darkseer setting up. Going for the big bugs in the back of combo. Gonna set up some vacuum, no wall just yet. He gets Hex actually in return. Thought it would have fallen, but now the rage popped in. And OD gonna kind of away from putting him under. Meanwhile, Axe in the background, locking down Mushi after the Shell Grave comes out on him. They're kiting Ursa. The Ursa tries to get the kill on OD, but the Sandy's Eclipse made it. Now back over here, however, the chase still continues. As Axe now, he's the one that has to run away. The supporting gap for him is not really nearby, but Zerker's call though. He's gonna make it so difficult to kill right here. Another Blade Nail coming up. The Assassinate. Yeah, he's gonna stop with that one. We'll eventually use it in the end, but it's not going to be enough damage. However, Darks here, he's going to be blocked! He's going to be blocked by some creep, another four staff comes out! There we go, Max going in, the play mill suffers, I'm trouble with the shot Great comes in the last second. We all the wall comes in the background with the epicenter, and we're going to kill Ani Axe with the juggernaut. Omni slash bounce between a couple of targets, including the sniper. And sniper is dead, standing to the clip, will also finish off the air saw. And now it's run, get away time for Mineski. That's pretty camp relevant, too. Oh, Juggernaut's going to catch a first, actually. Nice crush, though, in response. 
Moderna has the Aegis for his gaze. I'm down with the Dirk's call. Catch the sniper in the background. That's not good for the Jarrah side. He does not have a buyback. Jarrah going around. Sending it to Clubs and the calling flight official. Now the double chunk coming out. The buyback from the Ursa, but it just might be too late. As Snapper will not be coming up for another 60 seconds. More buyback dazzle, but down goes Tanky. He's staying dead. A triple kill. Rappy continues to be MVP as well for this Radiant side. And there's the finish on the Ursa. Basically just gives in right there, and that should almost do it. We got Rampage. Rampage, here we go. The no! There it is. Because, again, this is a lot on the line, and this is game three anyways, but it's, it's this. <laughs> That's possible. Frustration if anything. The slaughter will stop a little bit of response to the background. There's our camp and hyper now has to pat them. They cut it down. That's Rasta with that Aegis, or the Aegis, excuse me, not that the range is going to shackle for you there. Now they're doing a little bit of bouncing camping of sorts. Taking off the racks, trying to get them just to throw a mega creep. Trying to finish the ultimate right here. But plus gamers get this is a game plus victory for the Gamers though, they responded very well in game two. It was a back and forth battle, but game three, this was in there for the most part. And act again, no doubt. 